Hello, hello, my name is Rachel and today I'm bringing you a 24 hour reading vlog. So I'm basically participating in Becca's 24 hour Bookopoly readathon. I'll leave her channel link down below with more information. Um, however, I'm basically reading uh, like a whole cycle behind. So I'm kind of doing it on my own timeline, but I'm still participating with all of her prompts. So essentially, we're just getting to play along with her Bookopoly this weekend. So the first role, um, she's doing them on both boards. So basically, you get to choose your role. The first role, you got to choose between um, a chance card or um, a paranormal book. So I picked paranormal and I'm gonna be reading uh, Max Brooks' new book called D Evolution. This is another first hand account story like World War Z, but this is about the Rainier Sasquatch massacre. Um, I'm already about 60 pages into this and um, I basically have no idea what's happening. <laughs> so uh, I'm hoping to get this one finished today and then move on to the second role was to pick between a culturally diverse book or a viewer recommendation. So I went over to my shelf and I actually have grass that I've been wanting to read and yeah, this is a graphic novel so it should go fast. However, um, A, it's chunky and B, it's about a really dark topic in history. This is kind of a memoir in a graphic novel about um, Japanese comfort women. So not a light topic, but I've been meaning to read this. Um, we were actually um, sent a copy of this to add to our high school collection. And I just wanted to read it uh, before putting it on the shelf. And yeah, need to get it read. Anyway, so that's going to be my culturally diverse uh, pick. So these two books we're going to be reading this afternoon and yeah, I'll just keep checking in and letting you know. Um, I am going to grab some breakfast and probably watch something, um, kind of lighthearted like the golden girls, uh, before I get started because both of these are going to be kind of intense books and yeah, I got my candle going after I watch golden girls. I think I'm going to put on like nature sounds and then just read all day. So yeah, I'll check in later. All right, guys, it's the first check-in. I just took a break to make some delicious smelling coffee because I'm already starting to get tired. Uh, does reading make you tired? It always makes me tired. I think it's because um, a lot of people train themselves to read at night, right before bed, and then you're kind of training yourself to get sleepy when you read. So already struggling with the sleep. Not a good sign. <laughs> but that does mean I am getting some reading done in my book. Um, basically, so far, um, they have this like village set up called Green Loop, um, close to Mount Rainier. Let me look at the map in the front. Uh, I guess it's a little bit south of Mount Rainier. And essentially there's one, two, three, four, five, six houses around this common house. And it's supposed to be like super green. Like all of them run on like solar power and biogas. And it's supposed to be really self-sufficient. Um, they have a little um, like helipad that delivers groceries every once in a while. And that's um, pretty much it then. I mean, they really just need groceries from the outside world. Um, their houses are supposed to be really smart. So like when you go into the living room, all of your features like your heat and electricity work in your living room, but are shut off in the rooms where there aren't um, people where there's no motion sense. So We've got this green loop village that um, is not like fully occupied. There's not um, a ton of people there. And I think um, that is going to contribute to um, the problem here because now Mount Rainier has just erupted and uh, I think they're going to get forgotten. I think they're going to get forgotten in the rescue mission because um, all the local areas and like Seattle are all just like devastated by this. So... I think this Green Loop community is going to be like not rescued. And then essentially, I think what's going to happen is Sasquatch come down from Mount Rainier fleeing the eruption and possibly attack these people. Um, I don't know, because it's obviously a Sasquatch massacre. So that implies that the Sasquatch are going to attack. And already um, uh, the, the people at Green Loop were following um, kind of like a, it's supposed to be a firsthand account. And the, the biggest chunk we're reading is a diary of one of the people who is living in Green Loop. And supposedly somebody has, has found this diary and not found the author of the diary. So... 
we're reading this firsthand account of um, Kate and her and her husband have just literally moved there and now this has happened. So they have horrible timing, but she has already experienced um, something that smells really bad. She describes it as a mix between eggs and garbage. So that's hinting that maybe something's close. And she literally just saw this, what she thought was like a boulder in the middle of the road. And it must have been really big because she made a reference of like, well, they're not going to be able to drive. They're not going to be able to drive past um, that boulder. So it must have been humongous. And then the boulder started moving. So she said it looked like kind of like a tree with arms. So I'm assuming Sasquatch sighting. So um, they're apparently among the Green Loop community. And yeah, there does seem to be like some other little like snippets tied in. Um, they're interviewing some other people here and there. Um, that's included sporadically throughout the journal entries. But like the majority of it is this journal entry from, like I said, the girl who lives uh, uh, in this Green Loop community. So we're on um, page like 90. So so I'm going to try to get through a couple more chapters before I check back in. Like I said, we're going to drink some coffee, um, try to get myself woken up. And then if I need to, I'll take a break and do something to um, get myself out of reading to try to wake up. But I at least want to get to like, let's say, let's make the next goal page like 130. Where will that put me? Uh, chapter wise so chapter wise then we'd be at like chapter 11 so that's not too bad um yeah let's try to do that let's go for page 130 next so I made it to the halfway of this book and yeah things are really getting pretty serious they definitely have seen um what they think are um, Sasquatch. Um, actually in person and like footsteps, one came right up to the house. Um, so about three of the characters, about three of the people living in this area are kind of in agreement with what's happening. The rest are uh, really more under the impression that it's a bear. So um, it does really seem kind of divided. It seems like there is um, our main family, the Hollands, and uh, their next door neighbor, Mostar, who are really kind of um, taking this seriously. They're trying to prepare food for the long winter while they're stranded, and they really do believe that this could be Bigfoot out in the woods. And the rest of the people are kind of starting to come around. They're knowing that they might be stuck for a while and they need to try to kind of come together as a community. But they are, like I said, convinced that it's a bear. So um, I think the, the second half of this is going to be where the stuff really goes down. So I'll probably give it stop giving you. So I probably am going to stop giving you like details because I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then uh, we're going to try to get this finished later today. So I'll check in in a little while and let you know how the reading's going. So what was supposed to be like maybe an hour break ended up being me making an apron. <laughs> so yeah, it's like hours later. I did make my apron, um, but I've gotten no reading done. So we're officially like halfway in and it's almost time for the next roll. <sighs> And it's almost dinner time as well. So I think I'm going to try to read a little bit more and then I'm going to stop and have some dinner. And then we might do another round of coffee because I'm going to have a long reading night ahead of me because I got epically distracted. So back, back to reading. I'm, I'm sat here. I'm ready to do this. Let's read. All right, y'all, time for a check-in. So I had some dinner. I watched some Golden Girls. It is storming outside, so it's perfect time to sit down and try to wrap this book up. Um, I think I have about 100 pages left, so I think I'm just going to sit down and get this book all finished, and then I'm going to check in on roll number three because that technically should have already happened by now, so we'll check in for roll three after I get this book finished. Um, it is getting pretty intense. Like I said, I don't really I want to give you any more updates in case you want to read it. I don't want to give any spoilers. Um, but yeah, things are getting pretty intense. So let's jump in to the last 100 pages. Update time. So I have finished De Evolution. It's done. First book done for the weekend. That was my paranormal pick. Um, overall, I thought it was so fascinating how the author was able to blend something as fantastical as Bigfoot with like real 
settings and real things that just seem so realistic. So if you think that you might like that kind of, uh, blend of fantasy and fiction with reality and you're into B Bigfoot lore, give this one a try. It was, it was pretty intense. And I must say the wind started picking up pretty heavily while I was reading the ending and oh my goodness, it was making some serious noises outside. And I have to say, I kind of thought I was going to get eaten by a Bigfoot for a little while. <laughs> but anyway, that one's done. First book down, uh, that was my paranormal pick. So next up is the um, Culturally Diverse. So like I mentioned before, I'm going to be picking up the graphic novel Grass um, about the comfort, comfort women for the Japanese soldiers. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember if the women were Japanese or Korean but hopefully I will learn a little bit more about it in this book. But um, yeah, not going to be a lighthearted read, but I am interested to get to it. Um, and I will check in. I'll probably either check in. I'll probably check in maybe about like halfway through this and let you know what I'm thinking. Time for another update. So um, I actually just went ahead and finished Grass. Whew. This was, man, this was a tough read. Um, very enlightening but tough tough read this is really about the story of the comfort women that were basically abducted from um, Asian countries specifically we follow the story of a Korean woman who was essentially like sold into slavery a couple times and then essentially abducted and forced to be a comfort woman and then I mean ugh. This lady had a rough, rough life. This is such a hard book, but I think that it's really important to read about things in history that aren't fun to read about sometimes. I don't think we hear a lot about this. Um, I think in schools, especially here in the US, we hear so much about concentration camps in Germany, um, and that's really, the focus of World War II for us. But I mean, this, there's all kinds of stories of suffering during World War II, and I think it's really important to uh, hear some of those other stories um, because you, they always say history is important, so you don't repeat it. And oh my gosh, how, how horrendous. So I mean, I would recommend reading this for the informational historical aspect, but Man, you need to have a thick skin to be reading this one. But this is done. My cultural, um, culturally diverse book is now finished. This is my second book today, and I'm pumped about that. So um, I also snuck a peek at the next um, roll that we had, and there was two options. One was one that's gifted, and the other is a murder mystery. So, I decided to pick up one that I have been dying to read that's a murder mystery, and that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. So, um, I am going to log Grass um, as a book that I've read so far, and then I'm going to jump into a little bit of this, and then I will probably be going to bed um, fairly soon, but I do wanna get a little bit of this read, so I will check in in a little while. Hey y'all, time for an update. So last night I didn't read much at all. I read like two pages because I was exhausted from the long day of reading and apron making. I've got my apron on. I've got my apron on that I made. It's got a nice long drawstring, plenty of pockets down here. I'm styling. So yeah, I got two books read though and an apron made yesterday. So by any standard, I think that's a win. Um, so today I'm going to try to finish Truly Devious. The next roll I checked while I was at the grocery, because I went to the grocery this morning, um, was also announced. So the second, uh, or the, the, I guess the fourth, this is the fourth roll. The last roll was to read a YA fantasy or a contemporary. So I haven't decided which one I'm going to go with. No idea what I'm going to read for that one. So I will maybe look at that while I do breakfast. So next up is breakfast, picking out the fourth and final book and reading. So here we go. 
day two. Hi y'all, just a quick update. I am obviously not at home anymore, I'm in my car. Um, I decided to come on over to my parents' house. Um, I know they're gonna be cooking dinner and we normally watch Funniest Home Videos together and we'll probably end up going swimming because it's absolutely gorgeous outside today. So I decided to come on over. Um, we're planning on reading. I know my mom just started a new book so we're hoping to get a lot of reading done today. Hopefully, we're usually really bad though. We end up usually just hanging out so I'm gonna hopefully get a lot of reading done. Yeah, wish me luck today. Uh, I hope I get a lot of fun swimming and resting and reading done. And I will check in in a little while and give you an update on Truly Devious. Instead of reading, we've decided to go swimming. So we're gonna go swimming for a little while and then hopefully get back into some reading maybe later. Um, I'm only about like two or three chapters into my book. So like I said, I haven't gotten much read today, but it's so nice outside. So we decided to go swimming for a little while so I'll check back in a little while and give you an update on uh, hopefully some reading that we get done after we get out of the pool time for another check-in so it is the next morning and yeah I just didn't get much read at all last night I'm about 25 ish pages into this book that's all I got read yesterday <laughs> so um, I am gonna go ahead and keep reading and vlogging today I just seriously doubt I'm gonna get this whole book finished today um, which means I'm definitely not going to get to tweet cute in this vlog but uh, I am like I said going to try to get through a big chunk of this today I probably will end up back at my parents again though because it's another really gorgeous day and got to make use of that pool while you have it so um, no real big plans just trying to read through some of this and you know enjoy some some good quality swimming time so uh, I'm going to grab some breakfast and uh, and then I'm going to jump in and get some reading done hopefully so I will check in a little while and give you an update. Hey, it's time for another check-in. So I managed to read about uh, another like 40-ish pages in my book and I've discovered that I'm just not enjoying the audio too much. So I think I'm gonna let the audio go and just read the rest of it. Um, but we just took a break. We watched um, a Dateline on television. We love watching those together, but this one was kind of a dark one. And then we had some spaghetti for dinner and I think we're gonna read, try to digest a little bit, and then we're probably gonna head out to the pool. So I'll check in and give you an update in a little while. All right, guys, time to head out to the pool. Um, we have some of these like, adult popsicles that we're gonna try. It's a vodka martini, like popsicle essentially. This one is lemon drop. So I'm gonna take this out, enjoy this by the pool. We're gonna swim around for a little while and then we'll come in and read. Um, I haven't really read much since the last time I updated you, but like I said, I think when we come back in, I'm gonna skip the audio because I'm not enjoying it as much and just try to read it, see how that picks up. So I'll update you later after we have fun in the pool for a while. All right, y'all, time for a final check-in so I managed to get almost 100 pages done of Truly Devious not quite as much as I was wanting I really had hoped uh, to get this done over the past few days but I don't know I just I wasn't really in the reading mood and it was so nice outside it was really nice just to spend some time in the pool so I'm not mad overall I got close to 800 pages read over the course of the last three days. So I think that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will get this finished this week. But as for this vlog, I think we are going to wrap it up. So a big thanks to Becca. Again, I will leave her channel linked down below. I love her Bookopoly videos, um, but definitely check out her channel. And yeah, thanks for following me along this weekend as uh, I read quite a bit and then also didn't read <laughs> quite a bit so thanks for watching and i'll see you again in another video soon bye for now